the Baron's chat talking about um, Drake's leaked penis. Welcome to Real Steve TV. You're all, you didn't have to bring that up. No, I didn't. But you know what? Our world is getting so... Our culture in America is such trash. So Drake's like, you know what? The Kardashians had a good idea. I need to leak a sex tape. Imagine, dude. It's like you're already one of the most rich and famous, you know, artists, musicians out, out, right? And you're like, how do I get more publicity? You're good, bro. Go eat a sandwich, dude. And it just goes to show you, I mean, not all people are like this, obviously, but some people with fame and money, it's like the cliche, there's not enough fame and there's not enough money for some people. Not that it's right anyway, but I could, I almost could see a newer artist showing their penis on the internet to the whole world to get publicity. Not that that's right either, but that makes a little more sense because I read an article that said Drake hasn't commented about it yet because some people are saying it's not really drake in the video i guess not that i haven't seen the video ladies and gentlemen i'm a heterosexual male so there's no reason i would even care about it or whatever i read an article saying drake hasn't responded yet you know which it's like if it isn't him and he's not responding he's doing it for publicity because drake's a struggling upstart small musician i hope he makes it you know, I think I heard his music's good. I hope he, I hope he makes it. I don't like Drake's music. I don't like Drake's style. Um, and I don't like Drake's like lyricism. I guess I. And I think of those three things. His lyricism is the worst. I just I don't get it. I don't I don't find his lyrics creative or original or unique or sophisticated in any way. For those of you who don't know, like, how toxic online games are. So, what are they saying? I'd suck a D. Let's see. This is, this is what you... This... I'm exposing it. I'd suck a D for some millies. So, that's... I was just talking about that. We know. American culture is turned into trash. We know. Uh, the next guy. I, you'd suck a D just for some D. <laughs> I drag my balls through a mile of glass of for a hot goth girlfriend. Hey, guy, you could just ask a hot goth girl out. Hey, guy, you don't have... Hey, guy, you don't have to do that. The crappiest game show everywhere. We, we got these three losers from World of Warcraft to drag them through a mile of glass to see who will win a hot goth girlfriend. <laughs> The worst game show ever, dude. <laughs> we gather the 10 biggest losers from Season of Discovery Phase 2 <sighs> to drag them through a, a mile of broken glass to see who on the all-new will win Hot Goth Girlfriend. Worst game show. It would be the best it, number one TV show in America, dude. And it's like, um, hey, guy, just ask her out. How about, hey, guy? Which I know, I know you play World of Warcraft. You know what I mean? I know it's scary. You would have to talk to a person you've never met. It's going to be scary. It, it is. You, you would have to hold his hand and pump him up. It's going to be a little scary, bro. But you're not going to die from it. Based the way... The way you talk in general chat and wow, um, odds aren't great. She's going to like you, um, but you got to try. You, uh, you have to explain it to him in like terms of the world of Warcraft. You're like, you know how when you like roll on gear against someone else and it's like not guaranteed you'll win it after working like really hard and doing your best? Yeah, it's like that. Hey, guy, it's sort of like that. Um, you might not, you know, she might not like you. But it's okay. There'll, there'll be more gear to roll on. He's like, oh, yeah, that's is that how it works? Kind of. We started in phase one. Now we're here. <laughs> Drake. The more I, uh, 
the more I like continue to work on my relationship with God and walk closer with Jesus, like the cool side effect of that is like you start to kind of see, I guess, more and more through the world's BS, uh, the secular, non-believing world more and more. And um, as a Christian, I got to like all Christians, we got to be careful not to become self-righteous and better than and all that. Because I start to like uh, get resentment towards the way this world is and then in turn make me like hateful towards like at popular popular culture, the, the people, non-believers. And I know God doesn't want us to be like that. He wants us to be loving and patient and kind. Uh oh, here comes two meanies. Let me get, let me at least loot this before I get jacked up. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that guy's name's Drake. Ah, uh, dude. Speaking of the secular world and what, what I was talking about earlier about Drake's music video, I, I don't even know what it is. I don't know if it's a video or if it's like just a leaked sex tape. Or, I don't care, actually. There's a there's a line in a Christian song, an old Christian song, like a hymn type song, where it, I don't, wait, maybe it's not a hymn, but it's like an old time, older Christian worship song that says, like the things of this world begin to to strangely dim D-I-M strangely dim I've always loved that line because it's so true like the things that you thought were important before you came to God or before you started walking to God you start to realize aren't important but like as you look around like I was saying earlier this whole culture of like America and what we value like as a whole and like popular culture is garbage it's trash as the kids say we've become a country that is obsessed with fame money uh, prestige uh, it's no different than the idol worship that the Jews were doing when they were like following foreign gods and like setting up altars and idols um it's just the modern version of it and i love when people say oh the bible it's so old it's so outdated how could like a modern people learn anything no the truth doesn't get outdated just the clothes change <laughs> Uh, and the technology changes, but trust me, the heart of man isn't very different than the heart of ancient man. You know, um, how long has man had to, like, achieve world peace? You know what I mean? We're still going to war. We're, America's now involved in two major world wars going on. The Ukraine war and the Israel war. And we're kind of gross because we're just like, we, we fight with money. You know, we just keep dumping billions of dollars into these wars that are happening on foreign soil. What do they have to do with us and our people here, the citizens of this country? Nothing. We don't live out there. You watch Real Steve TV? Please leave your comments on the new Drake video. So, remember, as it gets darker... Whatever lights there are reflecting Christ, reflecting the light of Christ, those lights grow brighter. Cliche as it may be, the light shines brightest in the dark.